so to be honest, I'm a lot more emotional about this haul than I thought I'd be. I've heard about this for going on 20 years now that this is going to happen. And let's just say, uh, like many of us, it's been a long time since I thought maybe this would actually happen. And here we are, and it is happening. And I know what's going to happen next weekend. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to hear this, this full powerhouse sound by this orchestra. And I'm just going to have to try not to cry. <laughs> so that's in a nutshell what's going on in my brain right now. Um, I am also a little insecure about the many things that, that I know to do on a violin in a hall um, that over the years I've sort of tailored to to suit the sound in the old hall, that, that maybe sound didn't carry the way I'd like it to or, or maybe things weren't, weren't as clean as, as I'd like them to be. So now here I am and I don't have to do all of these things and, and I think, well, I hope, I hope I can still do in a new hall what I did in the previous hall. Well, two things. I, one isn't really related to the hall because it's just been, it's been so long since I feel like, like I've played with these people um, and I miss my friends and I just want to see people again. Um, outside of that, I, th there's one really concrete thing, and, and I think this, this applies to most of us on stage. We, we just like to have a shell. Um, and I, I know that for years, we, we've all gotten tired of, of looking up and knowing that the sound we make is, is mostly disappearing. About 90% of what I've done simply goes straight up and it's gone. Um, and that won't be the case now. And so, that's going to be a little overwhelming as, as well for me. I'm going to look up, I'm going to see this, this beautiful ornate wood thing. I'm going to know that, that what I do bounces off of it. And so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a surreal few years, hasn't it? Um, you know, I, I think I've realized how shy I actually am lately. And uh, so I'm not sure I feel it to be to be as much a process as I do, just something that I, I've emerged from. I, I've, I've come out of this cave and everything looks different. Everything, the way I practice a violin even, even feels different. So for, for years, I had a bit of a tradition um, backstage. If, if I got anxious, if, if there was some solo that night or something that was, um, that was making me antsy, I, I would go to the dressing room and I tended to pick um, the dressing room, which was really at the, at the top of the, of the sort of freight elevator backstage. So I was way up at the top. And I was in that room that, um, that you could walk out on the catwalk and, and look down on the stage. And one thing I would do is, I would send a text message to my sister and I'd say, hey, I'm, I'm getting nervous for tonight. And she would write me back. And, and what we started doing was I would actually walk out on the catwalk with, with my phone and I, I would take video of the orchestra warming up before the concert. And I would send it to my nephews, um, who at the time probably five, six, seven years old. And, and so we would confer a bit. And it was just this great kind of common tradition for me to confer with my young nephews at the time. So I, uh, I hope there'll be something similar here that I can do. I can look up and, you know, I, I understand that, um, the top of the stage is going to be a whole lot taller than it was before. Um, but rearranging a few traditions backstage will need to happen. And I'm also really looking forward to all of you in the audience, to seeing you, um, I've played a number of towns and I continue to do so, um, but in Erie, I, I look out and I see, I see faces that I know, and that's not really something that happens anywhere else. Um, and for all of us on stage, you, you know, we don't really play for blank faces. We, we just don't. Um, we, we do better if we play for people we know. Um, and in the case of Erie, these are people that include all of you, that we are absolutely grateful 
to have around. Um, thank you, thank you for everything that you've done um, over the past few years to, to make this possible. And I hope all of you are well. I'm looking forward to seeing you next weekend.